Asalaamu Alaikum guys, Tommy Robinson released from prison yet again. I'm not at the gen yet. <laughs> All right guys, Rebel Media released a video saying that Tommy Robinson has been going through madness in the prisons. Now prisons are not designed for the faint-hearted, obviously to make you feel bad about what you've done. Let me just tell you the facts about what Tommy has lived through. What they have attempted to do is mentally destroy me. That was not a prison sentence, that was mental torture put him in this abusive position. His treatment in prison was inappropriate. Now that sounds positively ghastly mate. Let's see what atrocities, madness and absolute excruciating pain that you went through. Everything was orchestrated and organized to cause me maximum disruptions. disruptions. Yeah that's a difficult word mate, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel, I feel nervous, I feel I've got butterflies constantly, I know I've only just come home and Disruptance, butterflies, it sounds like you just come off a ride in Thorpe Park. God give us more than that mate, yeah? Do you know when I'm sitting reading, I'm sitting reading emails in my cell. Huh? You got Wi-Fi? What sort of prison is this? Knowing Tommy, I'm expecting the worst. Obviously he's got some enemies, so I'm intrigued, I'm interested. You wiped out for me, let's see. So Tommy was transferred from Her Majesty's Prison Hall to HMP only, a much more Islamized prison. Moving prisons sounds unfair and unsafe, not gonna lie mate. Alright let's look for some facts and let's verify this claim mate. First source, yeah that don't look like a high percentage of Muslims mate. Let's check out another source, maybe it's a one-off yeah, maybe they're anti-Tommy. Yeah not gonna lie, they're saying that the first prison had actually more Muslims than the second one so I, I don't know what's going on there mate. But maybe that's a one-off yeah. Prisoners would regularly be given access to the front of Tommy's cell and they would open up the flap. Oh my god, gone, yeah. And shout at him. Shouting in prison, those monsters. But prisoners were permitted to go up to the window and spit into Tommy's cell. Permitted? Yeah, I don't think they were going to the garden saying Yeah, why not mate? Go ahead. He's there, 31B, yeah? Knock yourself out. I hope that's disruptive Tommy. It's still bad though, not gonna lie, it, obviously it's not good. And it's gross. But I don't think it was even at him, like it's not gonna reach him, I don't think Tommy's gonna stand near the flap. But let's see what lengths Tommy went to, to prevent himself from this trauma that would scar him for life. Let's see what this genius did. So Tommy had to shut his window in this particularly hot British summer. Yes. His cell door was accidentally not locked. Accidentally, eh? Oh, what? They left it open? Nah, that's mad. If there's Muslims around mate, we know what these guys are up to mate. They don't like him, yeah? So let's see what these guys did. It'd be a shame if an accident happened to Tommy in prison. Well, if the, the, the door was open, they could have spat in again. It's gross. Yeah, I can imagine it giving him some butterflies and disrupting his Wi-Fi experience. Tommy is, was only allowed to phone home during the lunch hour. No way! If Tommy wants to call home in the evening, then I suggest you make it happen. And don't disrupt this guy. It's to cause me maximum disruptions. disruptions. Otherwise he's gonna get some mega butterflies. I feel I've got butterflies constantly. The jailers slow walked, took their time to bring Tommy to the lawyers. The jailers were what? This just gets mad and mad. Walking slow. You know what Ezra, I've heard enough mate. You have made your point. British prison system. <laughs> You're ashamed of yourself. It's disgusting. Better turn up to Tommy's and apologize to him. 